My name is Harper Peterson. I'm class 2024. I go to Whitney High School and I play girls basketball as my main sport and my other two sports are volleyball and golf. Um, I play for Jason Kidd Select as my AAU team and this summer we traveled all around the country playing in big uh, live event tournaments in front of thousands of college coaches. That's like my first time playing in front of college coaches, which was definitely an experience. Um, but it really paid off. My favorite moment so far was definitely when I got my first offer. Um, we were sitting at the dinner table and my coach was like calling me and calling me. I was not responding. I didn't see his calls. And then I found the answer and he said, get on the phone with Adia Barnes. And she just came back from the NCAA tournament, finished second, and that's like kind of big. And she's really known that's her first time ever in that um, that place and first time I was coaching at that college. And so I went to the car and I got on the phone with her and within maybe two minutes in the phone, she said she was offering me a scholarship to play at her school. And that was crazy to me. I didn't really understand that at the age you can get an offer from such a big school. And uh, I was just, surprised like I didn't have any emotions I was couldn't believe and it was still so surreal to me to this day that I'm getting offers um, and then the funny part was my dad was in the back seat and just bouncing up and down the whole car was moving because he was so happy for me to get like my first offer after our first AU tournament together probably my versatility um, being able to play the one through the five, bring the ball up the court, and then also be in the post and shoot shots from the outside and be aggressive. I feel like, especially for high school, I have to do a lot for my team because um, I feel like everyone looks up to me as like a leader. And so being able to be versatile, and that's what like, I bring to my team and my energy and my leadership. Uh, that's probably my biggest part of my game is – always communicating and trying to help out everyone around me. Even though I am one of the youngest ones on the team, I still feel like they all listen to me really good. Um, there's definitely two of them. First one's Candace Parker. Uh, we are very, very similar, like same height, length, both very versatile. And then someone that's kind of near my age is Cameron Brink. We're both tall, very skinny, but still go after everyone when we play and just both very versatile players. And I was in like her spot right now when she was her age. Um, so we were like kind of going through like the same thing right now of uh, the recruiting process and just being like big athletes. I feel like the summer between eighth grade and freshman year, I was playing on a 17U team as an eighth grader. And that was probably the most struggles I've ever been through in basketball wise. I wasn't really happy with basketball because I was struggling so much and um, I didn't think I was ever going to get better because um, all the struggles and all the downhills I was going through. Uh, but one of my teammates, Mackenzie Laporte, she committed to Chico State. Um, she's a freshman there right now. And she, every single practice, she drove from Monterey to Rockland for practice. Um, and that's like a big drive as like a 17 year old girl driving four hours to practice every day. Um, and every single practice, she would push me to get better and just guard me and try to steal every single ball from me, not only get any points or anything during scrimmaging. And she would, I would say she would yell at me, but I would take it um, in a better way than the way most people would take it. Um, and she would just pick me up after I would always make so many mistakes and just push me to get better. And we'd have long conversations after practice about things I could do better, I could work on, things that will help me, things that she's been through that would help me now with everything that I'm going through. Um, I've gotten really good at like exiting everything out around me. Uh, sometimes I'm not very good at hearing my coaches what they're saying because I'm so focused and just into the game and like into the moment and each single moment that I am like on the court it I'm so locked in I just can't hear anything like I don't hear my parents anymore I don't hear the crowd um I can really only hear my teammates and that's like a good thing to have but I feel like that started freshman year during the summer definitely 
of just being able to exit out everything in the stands and just like be able to take and slow the game down um, and focus on every single possession about what I have to do and what I'm going to do. Um, and sometimes I feel like that helps me a lot to stay focused and to not get in my head and to stay positive, uh, which would really help freshman year because freshman year was a definitely a struggle uh, with basketball and like playing in such a high division for basketball and being like a freshman on varsity it was it was a big struggle and being able to exit everything out going around me everything that's happening outside of basketball and like all the school and everything else it definitely helped definitely my communication I was a very shy person last year I would say some things but didn't say a lot um but but definitely the communication because now our team chemistry is so strong and I'm so excited for this year because of how good our chemistry is. And chemistry is like a big part of basketball and a big part of playing. And uh, definitely the wins is what helps is like goes behind chemistry and just the way you guys treat each other. Um, and then also probably just like being able to know when it's my turn to score and when it's to pass the ball off. I'm a very passive person, so I always look for everyone else instead of me, um, which is good to have on teams because some people just don't really usually pass the ball, especially at camps and at um, showcases. So definitely like paying attention to like, when I can go and when to pass it off. Um, Folsom, because I was like my old teammates, my own. Uh, team Forbes teammates and it's always a good game because it's their whole team is freshmen and couples juniors and seniors but they're really young and so is our team this year we're gonna be pretty young and I just can't wait to see what we're gonna look like when we're seniors and those two teams going after each other and then the other game probably Oak Ridge playing against Tegan Brown that's she's like really really close to me so it's always a good game and we train together so we always are talking trash to each other about who's going to win their home game, who's going to lose. Um, those are two games. And probably the Rockland game, just seeing like all the fans back in the gym and actually having fans this year because um, I love playing in front of big crowds. It gets me going. Uh, there's always some like little sayings that he says that or that he does when I look at him sometimes and I'm like struggling that really help me. Um, help me refocus, help me know what I'm doing wrong with my shot form. Um, but definitely he just like pushes me to be better. And he always like tells me if I like want to play college basketball, I have to do this. But um, probably just like the little things that he says that like help me out the most. Even if it's just like your elbow is not in, that's what I like focus on um, next time I shoot or to keep my head up or to keep the ball up higher just like the small little things that have helped me out a lot over the years um, to keep me locked in. Definitely the little steps and like little things I do. Uh, most people they go and train at the gym and the first thing I do is shoot up threes. Um, that I do not like that. I'm totally against that. Uh, me and my dad go to the gym and we start in maybe two feet from the rim and we just do five makes at every single six spots and we just go back and forth and back and forth and sometimes I'll dribble but usually I just pass he just passes the ball to me and I shoot it's like the small little things of the form and the consistency and being able to make the shot every single time and by the time we leave the gym we have 300 400 makes in 30 minutes and it's like the little small things of just going back and forth back and forth and scooting back every single time instead of going into the gym and getting a random 50 between the legs that you're never going to do in a game. I do. I bring the team together when everyone's in their heads after being down from like a lot of points or um, after like a bad possession or I just like communicate well on the court. I'm always talking on defense or offense or helping my team out when they have questions. Um, and I'm always like willing to knock down like the first shot or the hard shot that no one wants to take. Like at the end of the games when we're down one point and we have the ball and they're all too scared to take it, I feel like I have the confidence enough to knock down the shot when it matters the most. Or I feel like being more aggressive. Um, I usually settle for the outside shots or not 
go after my defender, like know their weaknesses and go after them because I've been training a lot for being more aggressive because that's what I really need to work on is being aggressive. I want to win league by the time I leave. That's my biggest goal. I want to win league and be every single person in our league because I don't remember the last time Whitney's truly done that with such a young team besides when Jada Lewis was here, but they were a really old team. Um, the other one is I want like an in-game dunk in high school with, against Rockland. That's one of my biggest goals and to have like the crowd just go crazy after. Um, the other one is I want to leave Whitney um, with the record uh, broken. Um, I don't really know if it's like rebound, assist, points, any of that, but I want like a record there. Um, and then probably just take the team to sections or states. Uh, that's probably one of my biggest goals. I'm not scared to talk to anyone. I will sit next to anyone and talk to anyone. I am very open, bubbly person, always positive, always there for everyone, hardworking, really determined. I know my goals and if I don't reach my goals, I will try to do anything that reach my achievement, reach my goals. Yeah. yeah. I have really high standards, not only academically, but in the gym and also when I'm training, like I'm always in the zone and I want to get better every single day. I feel like when I leave, I just want to leave with not only like a good impression on every single person in our school, but also with like a legacy left behind. Like, I want to be like known at the school for the good and for the program. I ask everyone the before practice is what is your goal for practice? And that's, I tell them like, we're going to help you try to achieve that goal. And it's no matter what, if it's just like, I want to make a three, I just want to do this. It's like asking everyone their goals, at least they know that they have a goal for that practice and it's something they want to achieve. And at the end of practice, if like they have achieved their goals, like everyone's just so happy for them. No matter if it's like the smallest little thing, I feel like when I started asking them that question or just like our chemistry and the way we play together are just so strong now that we all just connect. For high school, we'll have to see by this year, but I call her my twin. Her name's Kendall Dykstra because we look, we used to look a lot same before like high school. Um, we're both super tall, super skinny. We're like, the same versatile one through five and every single time in practice when she's on the court we know each other exactly where we're going to be we know each other's strengths and weaknesses and we just hit each other on like every single time it's like when we're on together we're getting a point no matter what um and then the other one probably for high school is sammy schuler uh we went after our whole entire league last year together and being like the two freshmen, I feel like we really took over our team and showed them like our leadership skills. And I feel like me and her are probably going to be the two out Whitney that's going to take on everyone uh, with our team with us. Um, and for AU, Jordan Lee are both very versatile people and we just go after everyone. And especially at camps, just us two, we played one-on-one -on -one at um, – the camp a couple of weeks ago and everyone was just going crazy gets like the two top recruits on Jason Kidd for our age just about to play one-on-one -on -one against each other in front of all these cameras in front of all these people and the first point she got a, like a uh, her little jelly finish against me and then uh, I got the ball and just made a three and we just both just laughed it off we both were just like we just got points on each other and everyone just going crazy and especially when we're playing, it's just like that connection, that bond, that chemistry off and on the court and just knowing where we're going to be and knowing like what she's going to do. I know her go-to move every single time she catches the ball and she knows mine too. So it's just that the knowing each other and it starts with like the traveling, like we traveled all over the country together. So we had to be um, close, like we couldn't have like little clicks on the team that weren't our little small groups that weren't working together. Um, we all had that strong bond, that family feeling.